Hey guys, Mr. B here, and in this video we're going to be going through the Virtual Levers Lab. So, let's get started. Alright, so here's going to be our lab set up today. We've got a meter stick, actually two meter sticks, taped together just to make them a little more sturdy as our lever. We're using this wooden block as our uh, fulcrum, and I've taped it to the table just to make sure that it doesn't roll anywhere. Obviously, that wouldn't be good if our fulcrum is moving. And we have a one kilogram mass that we're going to be taping to the end of our meter stick over here as our um, effort or our resistance, and that is the object that we're going to be trying to lift today. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is we need to take our weight, and we're going to put it on a spring scale here to determine how much force it has. So we need to know how much force we are going to need to use to lift it off the ground. So let's take a look at our spring scale and see what it says. It looks like we are at about 10 newtons. So we're going to say that our weight is 10 newtons. All right, so we have five positions taped on our meter stick. We have position one, which is where we are going to have our weight attached. We have position two, which is uh, at about 25 centimeters. We have position three, which is at about 50 centimeters, right in the middle of the meter stick. We have position four, which is at about 75 centimeters. And then lastly, we have position five, which is pretty much on the other end of the meter stick from position one. All right, so for trial number one, we have our weight at position one. We've set our fulcrum at position two. And we are pulling down here with the spring scale position five, and we're going to record how much force it takes to do this. All right, so it looks like our force reading here is about maybe 1.8 newtons. So you record that on our sheet for trial number one, 1.8 newtons. All right, for trial number two, we've got the weight again set at position one. We have our fulcrum at position three, and we are pulling down here at position five, and we're going to determine how much force it takes. All right, so it looks like our force for this one is maybe about 9.8 newtons. So you can record that for trial number two, 9.8 newtons. All right, so for trial number three, we have the weight at one. We have the fulcrum now at position four, and we are pulling from here, so we're going to see what the force is. All right, so looking at the force here for trial number three, we are at about 20, maybe 27 newtons, 27, 28 newtons. So we're going to record that for trial number three, 27 or 28 newtons. All right, so for trial number four, we're going to put our fulcrum between positions two and three at about 37 and a half centimeters. And I'd like you to try to estimate how much force do you think it's going to take to lift the weight at this position. All right, for trial number four, we've got the weight set at one. We have the fulcrum position at, at between two and three, and we're pulling from here. So we're going to read what our weight is. All right, so it looks like our force is about five newtons for this trial. So we're going to record that on our data table, five newtons. For trial number five, we're going to set our fulcrum between positions three and four, which we're going to put it at about 62 and a half centimeters. And I'd like you to estimate how much force do you think is going to be required to lift the weight at this position. All right, for trial number five, again, we have the weight at position one. Our fulcrum is set to be between positions three and four at about 57 and a half centimeters. And we're pulling here at position five, so we will record what our force is at. All right, so it looks like our force is at maybe about 12 newtons. So you can record that for trial number five, about 12 newtons. 
For the final trial, we're going to set our fulcrum to between positions 4 and 5 at about 81 centimeters. And I'd like you to estimate how much force do you think is going to be required to lift the weight with the fulcrum here. All right, for the last trial here, we've got our weight at position 1. Our fulcrum is set to between positions 4 and 5 at about 81 centimeters. We're going to record what our force is. All right, our force is basically maxed out at about 50 newtons. So we're going to write 50 newtons. 